Hey guys, it's Tuesday, it's Bichonneki forest, it's my usual lake, and it's episode 19 of my way towards World Masters Athletics Championships. <laughs> Some guys are sitting there, I won't go there, talking. Let's talk a bit right here, right here, right now. So as you can see, all around me, everything around me is starting to look like a spring already. Also, it's only February 26th today. Crazy. Uh, yeah, the path was covered in ice, the path from the car uh, towards here, but everything around the path was and is uh, already melted down today. It's uh, 4 degrees above zero, I think. So yeah, everything is really melting down fast, rapidly. So, what about my running, you may ask. So, yesterday I started, with, started the week with intervals. The plan was to run 600 meter intervals in 2 minutes and then 2 minutes rest in between the intervals. Um, but actually I intended to do only 4 of 6 intervals uh, because I couldn't uh, keep the pace up. Well, it was uh, also a bit uh, windy, maybe it was one of the factors. But yeah, I ran only four intervals, well, better than nothing. I still got uh, a bit of a cough, <clears throat> but nothing serious, I think. The illness from the last week has gone. And it's... a. Uh, Quite, quite all right already. So today I will run in the evening, one hour run, and also there will be some intervals. There will be some intervals. So I'll talk about uh, about them uh, maybe later, maybe tomorrow. And uh, I'll uh, keep you detailed. So now let's go for a swim in the ice hole. I think it's still covered in ice, the lake. We'll see. Okay, bye for now. It's Wednesday and it's incredible 8 degrees above zero today. Very nice spring like weather. So, just a quick update of my running. So, yesterday, yesterday evening, I ran some, some intervals. Uh, I actually, I ran together with my uh, colleague. And uh, I developed those intervals for my colleague. For me, it would be a bit. It it was a bit uh, too slow, maybe, but still intervals. Um, better than nothing. So we run for an hour. We run. Uh, we started running. Uh, 1.2 kilometers with at a pace of 4:30 minutes per kilometer. 
than two minutes rest, then five times thirty seconds at three sixteen with only a thirty second rest in between, then two minutes rest again, and then once more, one point two kilometers and thirty seconds five times. So it was a a workout for the lactate threshold training for keeping uh, for, for pre producing lactate and clearing the lactate yeah and uh, today Wednesday morning I run uh, a slow run one hour run of uh, one 11 kilometers yeah it were it was an 11 kilometer run so yeah that's just a quick update let's see how the rest of the week will go i think it won't be so hot anymore today it's uh, i think five degrees above zero still it's warm but uh, the next days maybe it will be a bit colder again so we'll see it's thursday morning and i'm out to run and try to run in my new shoes my new Vivo Barefoot Total Eclipses it's not Eclipse today but the shoes is Total Eclipses I did the test run, it was a very uh, slow and uh, short run, only 3 kilometers, just to test the shoes, the Hura cheese. Actually I have uh, quite a big experience with Hura cheese and running with Hura cheese sandals. Um, actually my first person I ran my first marathon in Huara cheese, self-made Huara cheese. Uh, it was in 2011 when I ordered parts from the Xero Shoes, Zero Shoes company, which uh, then in 2011 it uh, it, call, it was called uh, still the Invisible Shoes. And so I made the quarry cheese and run my first marathon in them. And I have run quite a huge mileage in quarry cheese. But I haven't run in them quite a while. So now I'm testing another uh, brand. We were barefoot brand and these are auto Eclipse model quarry cheese. So th three kilometers done and what can I say? They were quite okay, yeah. For three kilometers at least, at least for my slow runs, I can now incorporate them and uh, do my slow runs in them. So we'll see how it goes. Haha, <laughs> the weather is lying to us. It wants us, it wants me 
to believe that it's nice and sunny and hot weather for running but no no it's cold again again below zero today today's Friday and yesterday evening yesterday evening was a nightmare for running it was so windy so strong wind I can't remember even when was the last time and we ran for, a, for an hour with our colleague and sometimes it was like running into a wall <laughs> a wall in the form of a wind today it's not so windy anymore but today it's snowy <laughs> some snow has fallen yesterday evening and at night and today I run interval session in the morning but uh, it was okay the snow didn't bother me much I run uh, 1.25 kilometers with just below 4 minutes per kilometer and then 30 second intervals with only 30 second rest 5 intervals and then the same thing once more it's just a quick update for now but now I'm going to rest for the weekend to rest in a sauna in a guest house and I won't be running certainly I won't be running tomorrow Saturday Sunday I don't know maybe after hom coming home in the evening maybe I'll run something on Sunday we'll see so this event on the weekend was a little bit of a tradition already we went to a guest house near Sesis with a group of our so-called uh, Saturday swimmers and that is with a group of people we are running every Saturday in the Bicherniak forest and getting into the ice hall in the middle of the run this event in this particular guest house mm, the event called Learn and Share happened for the third time already. The first edition was a year ago in February, the next one in, the Decem in December and now the third one. The main idea behind it is the gathering of like-minded people who spend the weekend talking, exercising, going for a cold walk and enjoying the benefits of ice hole together with the sauna so on Saturday we went for a walk of a couple of hours some of us were wore nothing but the shorts and boots but this time it was not so cold as the previous two times it was only about two to three degrees below zero and even sunny at times also with some wind we walked our traditional route to the river Goya and back. It was fun. Afterwards, we ate a good lunch. And before going into the sauna, some of us decided that we must first get into, into the ice hole. So we chopped one, which was no easy task, because the ice is still very thick. However, we made the hole, and for me it went out to be the longest exposure ever. I sat in the pond for almost seven minutes. Seven minutes. Afterwards, we could really enjoy the sauna. We also exercised in the mornings, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, did the Wim Hof breathing. And this time we also had a yoga teacher among us, so we tried to execute some yoga moves. On Sunday we got into the ice hole again, this time without the sauna. Uh, right after getting out of the pond I went for a small run barefoot around uh, in the newly fallen snow. Afterwards we went for another trip through the woods, this time in clothes. So now... It's Sunday evening, I've returned home, and I'm so tired of everything that there is no way I'm go going for a run. It's okay, I feel I've exercised quite a lot these days. The week has reached its end, and so is this video, which is a bit longer this time. 
Nevertheless, don't forget to come back again the next week. And of course, stay tuned to my channel.